The big M, the change, change of life, the pause. Whatever you call it, most women experience symptoms of some kind during menopause, including hot flashes, sleep disturbance, weight gain, and low libido, just to name a few. It's mostly because of one thing, estrogen. Well, that estrogen normally is dilating the vessels, the blood vessels in your brain. It's causing you to have faster synapses. In other words, one thought moves to the relay of the next thought in a faster way. It's affecting your balance. It's affecting your everything about the thought process. So when estrogen gets low, women start to get a little bit foggy and a little bit moody. And those are the normal stages. Dr. Mesh Seibel is an international health expert and leading authority on women's health and menopause. Itchy, bitchy, sweaty, sleepy, bloated, forgetful, and psycho. He is on a mission to help women gain control of their lives. In his new book, The Estrogen Window, he pulls back the curtain on the truth about estrogen to correct what he calls years of misunderstanding. In 2002, there was a study called the Women's Health Initiative, or the WHI, and in it, it said that taking this hormone, estrogen and progestin, caused breast cancer, heart disease, and dementia. But the women who got the estrogen and the progestin were 60 to 79 years old, and the women who had the placebo were 50 to 59 years old. I mean, who do you think is going to get more problems? Most of those women were smokers and had heart disease on top of it all to begin with. And although some women feel like it just sneaks up on them, truth is perimenopause actually begins up to 10 years before, generally in the early 40s. In some cases, it begins even earlier than that. And estrogen has a profound impact on almost every organ in the body. The brain, the breast, the heart, the skin, the bones, the bladder, the vaginal canal, the sexual organs, everything. And so we think about it, you've got something that was really sustaining that tissue that suddenly is absent and women feel that difference. The good news is most women can take estrogen to help stabilize their symptoms. In the estrogen window, I show you that there's an estrogen window of opportunity. And if you start taking estrogen in that window of opportunity, you can lower your risk of dementia, heart disease, and breast cancer. But if the window closes, the reverse could be true. As Dr. Mesh says, good health isn't an accident, it's a strategy. For eWomen Network, I'm Phyllis Smith.